Dollar Cash for 81 from Lang Park here in Brisbane. In a match featuring the combined Brisbane side and last week's victors over Manny Warringah, the Newtown Jets, coached by Warren Ryan. Unfortunately, a sickness in Ray Warren's family, a serious illness to his father, plus the airline strike, uh, didn't allow Ray to get up here tonight, and I've been asked to deputise for him. I sincerely hope, Ray, on behalf of everybody concerned with the Rugby League, and particularly Tooth Cup, that your father gets well in a hurry, and uh, you're back on deck at Leichhardt Oval next week. The Brisbane team is a combination of youth and experience. At the start of this season, it was uh, labelled Dad's Army, but uh, most of the dads have gone out of it, I think, because at this stage, you took out Arthur Beetson and Greg Oliphant. The combined ages of the team would be, I'd say, around the 21-22 mark. We all know the centres are good. Two young second rowers in Niebling and Phelan, and a bit of experience up front with Beetson, August, for a good Brisbane performance here tonight. Of course, it's coached by Queensland's prodigal son, Arthur Beetson, and he's looking for a big one. The Newtown side, still without Tom Radonikus, who was so ably replaced by Ken Wilson in last Sunday's match against Manaringa. Currently has two wins and one draw from four, five matches in the Sydney Premiership, and tonight represent a real threat to the combined Brisbane side in this qualifying match. Joining me again tonight is the games analyst, Keith Barnes. Keith, how was the rocky trip up? Oh, it was pretty good, George. We got here safely. That's the main thing. Uh, looking forward to the game too. Newtown fresh from that win over Manly. They're very confident. And talking to Arthur Beetson in the Brisbane dressing room prior to coming up, he's pretty confident that his uh, team of youngsters is going to do pretty well. And OK, and one of our longest serving ever Brisbane representative players, good friend of mine, good friend of rugby leagues, Des Morris. Des, thanks for coming up and joining me. Thank you, George. OK, let's have a look at the teams as they uh, take in the field. Uh, there's the Brisbane team first. Kilroy at fullback. Backer and Davidson, the Flyers on the wing. Close and Meninga, the centres. Cherry and Oliphant with the halves. Lewis at Lockford. Niebling, Phelan, Beetson, Hoffman and Deacon. The coach, of course, is Arthur Beetson. In the Newtown lineup, Newtown as programmed with Podgy at fullback. Ferguson and Blacklock on the wings. Ryan, Hethington, the centres. Sigsworth and Wilson, the halves. O'Grady, Pittman, Blythe, Acri, Jensen and Bowden. And, of course, the referee... Uh, the uh, coach is Warren Ryan. Referee for tonight's game is Eddie Ward. And after this commercial, back with the kickoff. Central referee, test referee, referee Eddie Ward. And uh, Brisbane to take the kickoff. Mal Meninga to put the ball in play. Des, you've been there plenty of times. I surmise you wish you were there again tonight. How do you yeah. see the game? Yes, George. Uh, well, I think the Brisbane side is a very good side. It's picked on form. I've got a couple of real goers in the second row there tonight. And uh, with Beetson up front, I think uh, they'll take a bit of beating. Meninga takes the kick and sends it well downfield. The Newtown Jets right on their own line. Fullback Podgy brings it out. Put down six metres from the quarter way. Wilson a dummy half. Line side. Good pass. Newtown starting very well. Pittman brings it up to within 20 metres of the halfway line. Jensen tries the blind side. Lewis is there, 10 metres from halfway now. Pittman going to the dummy half position once again. Big fella Steve Bowden, three metres from halfway. Jensen to distribute. Ward having a look at the blind side. Nobody offside on this occasion. The kick goes in from Wilson downfield. Brad Backer. Backer. Well tackled. Mick Pittman again. Coming in very quickly was Sigsworth. Kick going well downfield from Lewis. It could run. Run it does, but uh, well covered. Well covered by Podgy. Davidson's there. Gets away from Davidson. Gets to the quarter way. Newtown on their own quarter. Infield goes Ferguson. Jensen. Bowden. Just outside the quarter way. Beetson lands on top of him. A roar from the Lang Park crowd. Jensen, blind side. Wilson again. Left foot kick. Looks good. Chasing it back. Joe Kilroy. Kilroy in his first big representative game. Gets through. And away he goes in the touchline. A good... Davidson finally took it, but it was a bit lucky, Keith. Yes, uh, certainly. Kilroy's impressed us, um, in the, particularly in that grand final last year when he had a great game for Northern Suburb, North 
North Brisbane up here. No, I thought he looked just a fraction late there for Davidson and uh, was forced to hurry his pass. I think uh, it was a very dangerous break, though. He was a very fine attacking player. There's going to be a fair amount of kicking in the scrums, and um, uh, Ryan, the Newtown coach, wouldn't have been happy with those two kicks of uh, Kenny Wilson's when he missed the line. Kilroy once again, but uh, they've wrapped him up this time 10 metres inside Newtown territory. Elephant. Nibbling with the ball, he's lost it. Six to go, indicated. Picked up by Mal Meninga. Meninga put down 16 metres inside a Newtown territory. No score to either side. Arthur Beaton. Beaton standing in the tackle. Customary for Beaton to do that. Hoffman, Oliphan, Hoffman goes around him. Still about 17 metres inside Newtown territory. Six to go, indicated once again. And the southern suburb second rower, Chris Phelan. Just outside the quarterway, Brisbane. Phelan to play it. Lewis, Oliphant going around, but he goes back inside. Hoffman finishing with it on the quarterway. No score to either side. Three minutes of play gone in the first quarter between Newtown and Brisbane in this Tooth Cup match from Lang Park. Chris Close, close to Meninga. Meninga, pull down. Once again, just inside the quarterway. Close at dummy half. Wally Lewis, Greg Oliphant. Oh, not a good pass. A bit late, but picked up, capitalised on. And uh, Brisbane just inside the quarter way. Brian Needling to play it back to Hoffman. Hoffman, uh, no knock on, indicated. Arthur beats and into the fray. Loses the ball and a Newtown ball. Des Morris. Yes, well, Arthur's uh, certainly copying a bit of attention so far. He's only been in the ruck twice, and there's plenty of uh, defenders there for him. But uh, I think it'll uh, get, get away as the game goes on. Mick Ryan, the Newtown centre three-quarter, just inside his own quarter. Pittman to play it back. Jensen tries the middle of the ruck, gets it back to Pittman. Good bit of play there between those two players. 22 metres inside their own territory, Newtown. No score to either side. Knock on. Uh, Brisbane ball. Oliphant gets it away. Good pass from Oliphant. Bring the move now. Wally Lewis. Lewis to the quarter way, but can't get the ball away. Close goes to the dummy half position. Close. Having a run himself, but uh, not getting uh, too far on this occasion. Graham O'Grady making sure of that, the Newtown lock forward. Blind side, but the penalty going to the Brisbane team. And a bit of back chat there. And Eddie Ward goes right under the post. Right under the post. Mick Pittman not agreeing with the decision. And it should be a certain two points. Greg Oliphant uh, to the fore in the early stages in this game, looking for quick clearance to uh, 5A Cherry and also the centres, of course, Ming Meninga and Close. I feel that's where the uh, the strength in this Brisbane side is, uh, those two, uh, two experienced players. Also, the two second rowers, uh, Niebling and Phelan, are impressing in this uh, early stages. Look as if they're two good workers, uh, Des. Yes, they're, they're very uh, involved in the game. They, they're both good ball runners and... Uh, Evening a couple of weeks ago up here scored uh, two good tries and uh, will knock up tackling all night. So Mal Meninga on the 10 metre line in line with the left hand upright. The breeze behind him has everything in his favour and should register first points. Up and over. Six minutes of play going in the first quarter. And Brisbane leading Newtown in this Tooth Cup game from Lang Park by two points to nil. It's good to see, Keith, that not even an airline strike uh, can stop the New South Wales Rugby League and particularly the Newtown Jets from getting up here. It was a big effort to get them up here. And uh, our thanks in Brisbane and also all over Australia for the boys from Newtown and the enthusiasm of that club and the New South Wales League. Frank Farron and to get the boys here. It must have been a rocky hour ride, as I said before. Yes, we left Sydney about 11 o'clock and got to Brisbane about uh, 2. A few of the boys were shaken up on the trip. It was a little bit rocky, as you said, but uh, they'd all recovered pretty well, and uh, they went out for a training run late this afternoon just to uh, loosen them up under uh, the Newtown trainer, Les Motto, and uh, I don't think there'll be any excuses from the boys this evening. Brisbane coming up with the ball. Long pass to Kilroy. Kilroy shoots it away, but it was knocked as he went to pass the ball. 
And uh, Sigsworth comes up with it for the Newtown team. Bowden, just inside the quarterway. Chance for Newtown here. Graham O'Grady to distribute from dummy half. Dummies to Jensen. Good defence. Trevor Deacon getting across there very quickly on Pittman. O'Grady. Ferguson. Oh, Hetherington sees a gap, but by golly, it closed on him quickly. Ball and all by Wally Lewis. Yeah, good tackle by Lewis then. Last one coming up for Newtown. Wilson. Well placed. A well placed bomb. Kilroy's there. Up for it. And uh, volleyballs out over the uh, dead ball line. Kenny Wilson was the star of the Newtown side last week against Manly. He's a very good organiser around the ruck. Plays the game a little bit behind the line as much as possible, of course. A very good tactical kicker and uh, has good control over those bombs. A very good goal kicker as well. Uh, he'll be the creator of many of Newtown's attacking moves. Uh, a lot of their striking power is going to come from the 5H uh, Sigsworth, who's a brilliant attacking player. And it'll be inter interesting to see how young Cherry handles him tonight. And here's the fullback, Michael Podgy, just outside the Brisbane quarterway. He's been leading by two points to nil. About eight minutes of play gone this first quarter. Inside to Stephen Blythe. Jensen at dummy half. Bowden once again. Just inside the quarter now. Jensen looking for the ball. Dummies won and fires a very hard pass out to Mick Pittman. Pittman accommodated. Four metres inside the quarter. Hard run from the young fellow Acri. He's only a boy, isn't he, Keith? Yes, he is. He played uh, Jersey flag last year, and this is his initial uh, game in first grade. A player with plenty of promise. That was the last tackle, and six to go, indicated by referee Ward. Blacklock goes across field looking for open spaces, but pulled down just inside the quarter. Brisbane leading by two points to nil. Jensen. Pittman. Pittman involving himself in all facets of the game in this early stage. O'Grady fires it out. Hetherington has got a better speed. Yes, a good try. Good try to the... Uh, Newtown centre three quarter. Brian Hetherington, Newtown three, Brisbane two. It's a good clearance across the rucks here. I thought the Brisbane defence were a little bit slow to cover and a good cutout pass here from O'Grady. Um, he, he picks out a uh, no, good pass there from Ryan to Hetherington. He was able to skirt uh, Davidson to, and also the winger was still on the outside and he came back in field. A bit of a looseness on that um, Brisbane defence on that occasion, Des. Certainly, Keith, there's uh, no cover at all coming and... Uh... They'll certainly have to improve in that department if they're going to stay in this game. It was the first uh, time that New Zealand have been in their 25 and applied the pressure, and they've got a try out of it. He was able to uh, cut out Davison with that long pass to Hetherington, wasn't he? He is deceptively fast for a big man, Keith. Oh, he's got plenty of pace. He played on the wing for New South Wales against England That's several right. years ago, and uh, I, I remember him coming here with the as a boy with the Queensland with the New South Wales country team some five or six years ago, and he impressed me on that occasion. He's got a ton of pace. He's been hamstrung through injuries uh, for the last couple of seasons, but uh, he's been a very consistent player for Newtown. So Wilson with a chance to add extras. First try on the board after 10 minutes in the first quarter. Newtown leading Brisbane by three points to two. And Wilson just inside the quarter. Just inside the quarter. And uh, just uh, about nine metres in from the terrace touch line, a bit of breeze against him, nothing too difficult, and it's going to blow it away, no goal, no conversion, so after about 11 and a half minutes of play in the first quarter, Newtown leading Brisbane by three points to two, in next week's match at Leichhardt Oval, we have South Sydney up against St George, this, of course, is a second uh, qualifying round match for both teams. St George already won up. And a draw or better, we'll see them in the quarterfinals. South Sydney recorded a win against Parramatta in the first round. And they're in the same situation. August for a very tight game next week at Leichhardt. So the winner of next week's match will automatically enter the quarterfinals. And, of course, they'll be played later on uh, in June sometime. South Sydney and St George next week. 
at Leichhardt Oval, and let's hope that Ray Warren's back on deck for that one. A good kick from Wilson. I just uh, went back in the records, Keith, and you remember this game uh, when Newtown played Queensland Country up here in um, the first game in 1979, and uh, Wilson, uh, Queensland Country, just got home by two points from Ian Douth. They won by 16-14, and the 14 points scored by Ken Wilson that night, two tries and four goals. So he surely come out of the woodwork that night and uh, he's starting to dictate terms here already yes well he's certainly going to have a strong hand in newton's tactics here this evening because um, he's a very fine kick of the ball as i said earlier and his tactical kicking is going to be a feature of newton's play because obviously they won't want to play the game in their own territory and if they are getting a reasonable share of possession from the scrums well they will be utilize, uh, utilizing uh, the boot of wilson he's a very fine uh, he's got a good strong punt uh, going for distance and also he kicks very cleverly for the touchline as we saw on that occasion Newtown looking for a try number two. And only about 12 metres from the Brisbane line. Penalty going to Newtown. Well, this is in a position, of course, that uh, should give Wilson the opportunity of uh, edging Newtown to a 5-2 advantage. Um, what about the condition of the uh, Brisbane side, Des? I noticed in the Sydney press recently that Arthur Beetson said that the, uh, the training methods in Brisbane are nowhere near as intense as they are in Sydney. And uh, what sort of a preparation have they had for tonight's game? Well, they've been together for about uh, four weeks now, just one night a week uh, doing a bit. And they had a, had a game last uh, Tuesday night up in Rockhampton. But uh, a few of those players, well, Beetson hasn't been playing uh, full games completely. And... Uh, also, Trevor Deacon is only back from injury uh, about two weeks ago, but the rest of them should be OK. Uh, but their defence at the moment is uh, not moving up in a straight line at all, and uh, they're certainly in a bit of bother at the moment. Arthur Beetson cancelling uh, Brian Niebling there while the kick's being lined up by Ken Wilson. He didn't convert the try by Hetherington, but has a chance to add extras now. He does that. Penalty kick, kicked by Wilson. Newtown five, Brisbane two. Played a restart. Well downfield again by Meninga. Hodgy, the fullback, just inside his own quarter. Plays it back now. Graham O'Grady. O'Grady's still just inside the quarter. The young fellow Acri puts it down. It goes both ways, so we'll have a scrum. I don't know what the crowd are disagreeing with, Keith, do you? Oh, well, it went both ways, and that's then right. hit, it hit Hedy Ward. So uh, that's why he blew it up. Oliphant fires a long one at Chris Close. Close, held only by Hetherington. Sigsworth's in there as well. Steve Cherry, the Brisbane 5'8", from dummy half. Loses the ball. Broken play, a chance for Newtown. Well, that's an area that Brisbane are falling down in at the moment, and that's their handling. They're uh, not retaining the ball for the full six tackles, thereby not putting any real pressure on this Newtown defence. And they can't afford to lose the uh, ball in that particular situation. They have to control it much better than what they're doing at the moment. Wilson, a long one of Mick Ryan. Ryan dummies, takes the tackle. Phelan coming in to make sure of that one. Pittman, Mick Pittman, held on there by Beetson. A bit of rustling going on in the tackle. Jensen. Ooh, golly. Got that one from up here. Hackery coming on to it straight and hard. Graham O'Grady, blindside. Long one. Oh, juggled and into touch. And Ferguson put him into touch. Scrum to pack. Ten metres inside Newtown Territory. At the first uh, break tonight, at quarter time, I'll be asking both uh, Keith Barnes and Des Morris to review this first quarter for us.
differential penalty from the scrum. And Meninga kicking for touch on the terrace side. And that's a good kick. Taking play to within about 13 metres of the Newtown line. Can Brisbane capitalise on this session of play now? About uh, three minutes of play left in the first quarter. Beatson's lost it, knocked it back. Play on. Six to go indicated. Newtown leading by five points to two. Brisbane needing a try. Hoffman. Oliphant. Cherry. Newtown defence is good. Cherry on the quarterway. Close. Oliphant again. Dummies close. Back inside. Kilroy breaks one. Can't get away. Sits down on top of Barry Jensen. Oliphant. Up in the air. Through comes Davidson. And uh, into touch it goes. A little bit surprised that Oliphant put the little chip over the top there because uh, Newtown were well positioned. But conversely, going the other way across the field, the Newtown backs had moved up very quickly and I thought the opportunity was there of, uh, on the previous play across the field. Newtown ball from the scrum when they need it. Oh, that's what you call a front-on ball and all tackle, Keith. Tackle on, Meninga. Meninga once again, slamming uh, O'Grady into the ground this time. Bowden says, give me a go at him. And uh, a go he has. Three metres from the quarterway. Newtown, inside their own quarter, leading by five points to two. Jensen gets it back. Mick Ryan. Ryan about five metres inside the quarter. Ryan uh, injured in the tackle. Was uh, hardly moved. Didn't seem to be anything wrong with the tackle. Obviously a uh, painful whack somewhere. And there's the replay. Possibly caught, caught a knee coming over. But, uh, he's okay, a bit of the magic sponge and uh, he's in business. There's Artie uh, Beetson copping plenty of attention at the moment. But, uh, is, uh... Making a few handling mistakes. Yes, I think he's probably trying to bit, do a bit too much too early. And uh... Tom terrific on the sideline there. Play to restart. Hetherington, Hodgie, Ferguson with a bit of speed. Comes infield, good play, doesn't allow himself to be put into touch. Five metres from halfway on the last tackle. Wilson, left foot, grab a kick. Wilson, uh, Kilroy, kicks it back. Can he retrieve it? Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't think that went out. We might have a look at that and have a look, if we can. Well, the injuries, the ball certainly didn't go out. The interesting point is whether he was he had his foot out. Yes, he oh, did. Oh, yes, he, he did. Yes. Good ruling well, by the touch well judge. Well done from the touch judge. He actually had his foot he on the line foot on as the line he, kicked he kicked the ball, the ball right, Keith? Right. Yes, that's what exactly what happened. Penalty going to Newtown. First uh, quarter, about one minute left in the first quarter. And uh, Wilson, of course, with the ball, the Newtown skipper. And he's going to try and press home advantage here right on quarter time with an extra try. Newtown leading by five points to two. One try in it. Hetherington, the try scorer, scored his try in the 10th minute of the first half. Wilson. Steve Bowden. Stephen Blythe at dummy half. Wilson calling for it. O'Grady back to Wilson. Blindside to Sigsworth. Good movement. Sigsworth wrapped up by Beetson. About six metres inside the quarter. Can Newtown score before the quarter time hooter? O'Grady. There's the hooter. Referee Ward blows up quarter time with Newtown leading Brisbane by five points to two. Newtown is coming, hear the boom bags humming, Newtown, Newtown, Newtown is flying, there'll be no denying, Newtown, Newtown, 13 men all dressed in blue, look at cause they're coming through moving up in, in, uh, with any aggression at all and uh, the switch of play by Newtown com uh, is completely putting Brisbane off they're not uh, taking any control of the game at all 
What about the uh, forwards there? Well, Lewis has been uh, very quiet, Des. Yeah, well, he hasn't. Uh, he's been a bit that way this year, but uh, with it, with the second rowers that he has got, they've got two good workers there, and uh, Trevor Deacon apparently has been playing well. Uh, there's no reason why Wally can't be putting in those kicks and that, but I suppose you know, we aren't holding the ball long enough right. for him to be able to probably uh, dictate the, the trend of the game. Did but you ex did you expect more to emanate from Arthur Beach in that first quarter, or, or are Newtown just containing him too much? Well, I think Newtown are doing a very good job, but I think the forwards aren't uh, asserting any authority and they're not uh, taking uh, command of the game. They're not getting into the forwards. They're sort of trying to pass it out too wide too early for Molly, and uh, that's when they're dropping most of the ball. Mistakes creeping in too early. Too many mistakes, yeah. You can't afford to make those mistakes against the Sydney side. What would uh, what would you be thinking they'd be talking about now quarter time? Oh, just settling the play down and making sure that when they do have possession, that they make the most of it instead of uh, dropping it on the first and second tackle. A couple of willing workers in that Newtown pack. Yeah, they're all going very well. And because uh, with Wilson behind, they're dictating play that uh, they seem to be very, very, very well organised. OK, Des Morris with his comments on the first half. And after this commercial break, back with the second quarter. Referee Eddie Ward uh, calling up the Newtown captain as this uh, second quarter is about to commence. I just don't know what he's uh, questioning Ward for, but it's obviously something that's bothering him. And uh, is he pointing to the ball boy under the post? I don't know what he's pointing to. Anyhow, Meninga takes the kick off to start this second quarter with Newtown leading five points to two. And immediately the uh, fullback, the Michael Podgy, Puts it on the ground and a chance to attack from here. I noticed that Greg Dowling, number 17, has replaced Trevor Deacon. Uh, a good change, Des? Well, Dowling has been playing well. And uh, as I said earlier, Deacon has only just come back from injury. So uh, you know, I think Dowling might add a bit of thrust to the forward pack at this stage. We'll see what emanates. Lewis after the ball with the foot and six to go indicated by referee Ward. Newtown inside their own quarter by about six metres. Acri gaining about five metres in that run. Wilson back inside. Stephen Blythe still about three metres inside the quarter. Jensen back to O'Grady this time. O'Grady puts it high. Back is there underneath it for Brisbane. Taken Brad Backer. Pull down five metres inside the Newtown Territory. Mal Meninga from the dummy half position. Strong run Meninga. Gains about 12 metres. Oliphant. Long one out the Cherry. Does well to pull it down. Cherry 15 metres inside Newtown Territory. Hetherington and Sigsworth the tacklers. Blind side. Brian Niebling. Five metres short of the quarter way. Newtown leading by five points to two. Arthur Beetson. Beetson trying to get the ball free, but Newtown swarm on the big fella. Last tackle coming up. Lewis. High in the air. Not well placed, but plenty of air. And pulled down well by Mick Ryan. Centre three-quarter for Newtown. And uh, an injury to Podgy in that tackle by the look of it. Mick Pittman, a willing worker in that Newtown pack, coming almost to the quarterway. Blind side, Sigsworth, just outside the quarter. Jensen to distribute from the dummy half position. Podgy's okay. Wilson, back to Bowden. Bowden put down fairly solidly on the quarterway on the last tackle for Newtown. Blind side, Wilson. Ferguson, oh, good pass. By golly, the two wingers working very well. And away goes Ferguson. Can they catch him? Out it goes to Blacklock. Blacklock chased inside. Oh, good football. Sixworth. Sixworth gets it to Pudgy, and that's a good try. And a uh, blindside winger coming right across. The two wingers. Well, this is a good try, Keith. Yes, it certainly is a brilliant try. Instigated way back in uh, in Newtown's territory. And it's There's all the happened. quarter way there. Yes, that's right. It all happened when they've attacked on the blindside. And Davidson, the, uh, the blindside winger for Brisbane, is out of position. And this has enabled Ferguson, of course, to get a clear run of some 15 to 20 yards before he gets to Davidson, steps inside him, 
and then he did well also to get away from Kilroy and then of course they're backing up on the outside with the other winger coming from the other side of the field yes, you don't often see two wingers back no up. you don't and Sigsworth is there again on the inside the pass back inside and then Podgy back on the outside a brilliant uh, team try all started by a clever switch of play back in deep in their own territory Here's it from front on. Um, I feel Sigsworth could have almost scored himself. Yes, well, he did well there uh, to get away from Davidson, uh, Ferguson. And um, he's got away here, and Blacklock's uh, chained in well from the other side. Um, so it's a, it's superb anticipation by uh, the whole of the team. He's got away here, and then Sigsworth is backing up on the inside again. And that player did well, Phelan, I think, wasn't it, Des, getting Chris, across there? Yes, yeah, Chris Phelan did And uh, Sigsworth, as you said, he's made sure of it by uh, giving Podgy the clear under the right to the line, a top try. They look like twins, Ferguson and Blacklock, the two wingers. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> it's a bit confusing from up here. A lovely try from Newtown, and by golly, eight points to two. That's put pressure on the Brisbane Heights, Des. Certainly so, so, George. They... Uh... Obviously got the wingers back waiting for the kick from Wilson and uh, that's leaving a, a gap on that blind side and uh, Newtown are making full use of it. Wilson going wide with that one. So after five minutes of play, second quarter, two tries to Newtown and they lead Brisbane by eight points to two. Haven't seen much of... Um, Podgy Keith uh, seems a, an adventurous type fullback. Yes, he is. Uh, he was a Newtown junior and moved up to Penrith last year. Made uh, quite a reputation as a winger and uh, has filled in, though, in the fullback spot. Sigsworth, of course, is their normal the fullback. Normal fullback yes. They've moved him up into the 5 8 slot. Uh, Brisbane, I don't think they're using their, uh, their main attacking weapons to advantage at the moment. Uh, obviously, those two are Chris Close and uh, Mal Meninga. We haven't seen those two really get into the game with uh, any real attacking opportunities. I think if they're looking to to make holes in this new down defence, it's obviously they should be playing it through them with Kilroy chiming in from the fullback spot because he's going to be pretty dangerous. But here's Hetherington away again. Gets it inside. Blacklock. They seem to be finding a few gaps there, Des. Yeah, it's Out the wide. Yeah, it's on the blind side again, George. They're bringing it in one and taking it back and uh, there's just no, uh, no defence there. The wingers are being left with two and three men coming at them and uh, just not good enough. Final tackle, and all Newtown so far, leading eight points to two. Seven minutes of play, gone second quarter. Ferguson steps inside, Davidson once again. Got Kilroy to beat and beat him. Pull down from behind, gets a pass back to O'Grady. O'Grady looks for support. Oh, lovely try. Whoa. Stephen Blythe. Oh, Newtown really putting it together. They Two tries are. in three minutes. They're on fire, aren't they? And what a find this Ferguson has proven to be. He's uh, came to the fore back in 1977 when he made the countryside from Glen Innes. And then, of course, he went back to Glen Innes and uh, nothing was heard of him. But um, Newtown's resurrected him this year and he's certainly shown out now with a couple of really classy runs, hasn't he? He's beaten Davidson and Kilroy again. And just looks when the ball is dead, he's been able to flick it back inside to O'Grady. And uh, Blaith, of course, is backing up on the outside and a really top try. Brilliant football by Newtown. It's as good as you're going to see. He's got a very good step here, though, hasn't he, um, Ferguson? Well, that's right. Like, uh, uh, Davidson looks as if he's got him covered, although I think he should have got him on that occasion. He, uh, he didn't come far enough in field of what he did on the uh, previous occasion, but he steps inside Kilroy here pretty well. Um, good step there. Kilroy missed him badly. Didn't get a hand to him, really. And just when he, the ball looks as if it's going dead, yeah. he flicks it back up to O'Grady. Good team try. Players looking to back up the man that's uh, likely of making the break. Two and three players there all the time. Mm -hmm. Very close to the corner flag here, wasn't it? The touch judge right on the spot. He's uh, in the field of play, but Keith... Oh, out. definitely, yes. No risk about the try whatsoever. Well, two tries in two minutes. 11 points to two with Wilson... Not had any luck from this angle on the last two occasions, but uh, this one's going wide as well. Three tries to Newtown, Brisbane and they lead by 11 points to two. Brisbane probably a little fortunate that Wilson hasn't got his kicking boots on, because uh, even though they are difficult kicks, uh, Wilson's quite capable of landing those. Uh, Brisbane desperately need a try and a goal, Des, to get back into the game, don't they? Yes, they've certainly got to apply themselves now and uh, get back into the game before they get too far away. It was a great try, a great team try by Newtown. There's someone there all the time. Both those Newtown tries, both great tries. 
Yes, well, they've been uh, renowned as a very, fairly defensive uh, side in the past, but uh, this year they've certainly come to the fore, and uh, Warren Rye and their coach are to be congratulated because they played scorching football last week to uh, topple Manly, and they're continuing on in that vein this evening. Hetherington, one of the try scorers in the first quarter. Acri, Steve Acri, the young player who came in to replace Jeff Bugden. Whoa, I think we'll have a knock on on that occasion. Scrum screwing around, Oliphant looking for him, he's got it. A chance this time, Kilroy. Kilroy to the quarter way. Brisbane down by 11 points to two. Three tries to one against them. Uh, three tries to nil against them. Close, Oliphant. Greg Dowling. Dowling replaced Trevor Deacon at the quarter time break. Hoffman from dummy half. Sees the gap. Tipped into the ground uh, by O'Grady. Ten metres out. Can Brisbane score from here? Down 11 points to two. Oliphant. Cherry. Cherry looks back inside. Gets the pass back. But uh, Newtown having none of this stuff. Their defence is pretty strong. Phelan. Hoffman about six metres out. Dowling and Dummy Hale. Oliphant. Long pass. Close. Steps inside. Has got the speed. Bumps towards the line. A try. A typical Chris Close barging try. Just when Brisbane needed it. 11 points to five. Yes, it certainly was. And a good long cut out pass here from Greg Oliphant to uh, position close perfectly. He sent it straight to him. The gap was there. That pass created the gap. When he stepped inside here, I thought he would, would have been looking for Davidson to make a bird of it if he could have got the pass away. But of course, he's a, such a strong player. He was uh, able just to get to the line. There wasn't very much in it, Des. No, he, uh, he just made it, if you can say that. But uh, as you say, he's a very, very strong player. And... Uh, he uses his uh, brute strength uh, to an enormous advantage in a game of football. And he's developing a bit of a step over the last uh, year or so. Well, he's decided to take on six, six but they obviously felt that he could get to the line. He held the ball right out and just got there. there wasn't very much in it. It was a try that Brisbane desperately needed too. Very close from Chris Close. 11 points to five with the kick to come from Meninga. Three tries to one now. And uh, they're coming just at the right time, Des? Yes, I think it was uh, vital they got a few points on before the break. And uh, it certainly did their confidence a lot of good. Meninga with a slight cross breeze. Concentrating very heavily. And uh, steers it right between the sticks. So Meninga converts. Newtown leading Brisbane by 11 points to seven with about eight minutes of play remaining in this, the second quarter. On Channel 10's big match next Saturday night at 6 p.m., 10 will be telecasting the match between Western Suburbs and the North Sydney Bears. And that will be immediately followed by the first Michael Parkinson show in the new series here for Channel 10. That'll be worth watching, the football, and then Michael Parkinson. And in Brisbane, of course, the Michael Parkinson show will be on on Sunday. Sunday, 6.30 for Michael Parkinson in Brisbane. Brisbane just outside the quarter way. One of our very enthusiastic and partisan crowds here again, Keith. Yes, they certainly are. It's un unfortunate for young uh, Blade Davidson on the wing there. He was the, the victim of uh, the ironic cheers there. Probably just because he took the ball, because he's had a nightmare situation lighting Ferguson. Away goes Meninga to O'Grady and couldn't get the ball inside to the flying backer. Good football there from Arthur Beats and maybe bad defence from Newtown, but Beatson allowed to stand for a long time, Keith. Yes, well, Beatson, of course, is going to draw the, the defence, and if he's able to get his passes away, well, he's going to create plenty of opportunities, but uh, he's been playing in it, uh, taking the ball up fairly tight, and uh, his handling has um, oh. let Newtown off the hook on a couple of occasions. Kilroy scoops the ball up with six to go, indicated by referee Ward. Bumping run from Chris Phelan. 
a lot more life in this Brisbane side nowadays. Yes, I think they've started to gain a bit of confidence and think they can get on top. Well, a fair bit was expected of those two young second rowers, Phelan and uh, Niebling, Des. Yes, they. Uh, I think they both had a game last year, but uh, then injury and other, other things have kept them out of uh, rep sides. But uh, they have got a lot going for them, and uh, I'm sure that by the end of the game, they'll be right up there amongst them. Never say die, Oliphant. Lewis, that's a better place bomb. Through goes Lewis and Cherry, and a try. Oh, yes. Right, Wally Lewis, 11-10. Well, not a very well-placed bomb here from Lewis. Uh, Podgy certainly made a mess of it, didn't he? He was under a lot of pressure, positioned himself as if he was attempting to uh, to knock the ball over the lane, but missed it uh, by a good yard. And then, of course, the try was always on. A uh, very well-placed kick by uh, Lewis. And what a change has come over this game. We saw two scintillating tries from Newtown in the space of about uh, three minutes. And now we've seen uh, Brisbane come back and do exactly the same. Uh, Dowling may have been uh, lucky not to get penalised for tackling without the ball. Number 17. Yes, but in this particular situation, oh, he he's was, a long he way was from a long way from him. him. Dowling uh, didn't impede um, Podgy in any stage there. He just positioned himself badly. And uh, this, is, of course, gives uh, Meninga the opportunity now to kick Brisbane to a 12-11 lead. And we didn't expect that about five or six minutes ago, Des. No, that's for sure. But uh, the forwards are starting to make inroads into the Newtown defence, and uh, the result is, of course, that the, the ball players are getting more room to move with uh, to do their thing. Meninga with an important kick to take the lead back. He does that. Brisbane leading now by 12 points to 11 with about five minutes of play remaining in this second quarter well Newtown captain Wilson to restart play Bly Davidson on his own quarter Brisbane losing the ball. Newtown ball, a chance before the uh, second quarter break to regain the lead. Willing worker there in Mick Pittman. He's impressed me. Yes, he's a good worker. Strong running. Take Lewis, second row, thinking all the time. The ball. Brisbane getting the ball back. Jensen says, I'll try. Six to go from that one. Whoa, Oliphant gives it to Beetson. Beetson can't accept it. And uh, a Newtown ball once again. Through Steve Bowden, Jensen, O'Grady, just outside the quarterway. Brisbane leading by 12 points to 11, although Newtown have scored three tries to two. Stephen Blythe, right on the quarterway. Long pass at the Ryan, Ryan dummies, but uh, beats and makes sure he doesn't get too much further. Hetherington. Tries the blind side, has scored one try. Beats him once again. Combines with Dowling. Jensen skirts the blind side again. Inside to Ryan. Ryan fires it back to Ferguson. He's dropped it. And uh, Jensen has it. Penalty result. Might have been a bit lucky he dropped it then too because uh, Ferguson, he was only 10, 15 yards from the line. He's got a very clever step. Uh, Brisbane perhaps a little fortunate to get out of that and will gratefully accept the penalty. A lot of pressure now. They can't afford to allow Newtown to get back into the game before half-time. Or to get other points before half-time. Oliphant with the tap free on his own quarterway. And Lewis looks for a gap on the blind side. It wasn't there. Phelan. Strong one once again from Young. Good work Chris of Phelan. Phelan. He's taken the ball up uh, very consistently and also his defence uh, rate has been particularly high. Not a good pass from Oliphant. Cherry does well to get back and get it. And they're using a couple of players as decoys now in these stages. Uh, Beaton and um, also the other runner, uh, Niebling. And they've been trying to bring the second line of attack on. Knock on from that 
passage of play. Half time, about two minutes away. Important scrum. Collapsing at this stage. Penalty going to Newtown. And it's a, a differential penalty, of course. They can't kick for goal from this one. Wilson says, I'll try and gain a bit more ground. And that takes play to within 10 metres of the Brisbane line. Can Brisbane hold Newtown out and regain and uh, retain this 12-11 lead at half time, or can Newtown score an extra try? Three tries to two, Newtown have scored, but trailed by one point. O'Grady, all crunched to the ground. He's working hard, that darling, since he's been on the field, isn't he? Yes, he's, uh, he's had a deal. Aggression was needed, I think, in the Brisbane forward pack, and uh, he's having quite a good game. Stephen Blythe. O'Grady. Held on there by Lewis. Ten metres out, Newtown. O'Grady finally put down. Blythe a dummy half. Wilson calling for it. Has it now. Up in the air it goes. Through goes Sigsworth. And, oh, just out over the dead ball line. It was worth the try, Keith. Yes, it certainly was. They scrambled it away, didn't they? They had uh, two baits at the cherry, so to speak, before they eventually got it over the dead ball line. Played a restart from the quarter way. The half-time hooter due to go. Any old tick of the clock beats him. Elephant. Brisbane about six metres outside the quarter. Elephant once again beats him up the centre. Tries to slip it back. Can't do so. Beats and plays it forward. Gives it back to Dowling now, and he's lost the ball. Scrum to pack. Wasn't much percentage in that, this. No, I didn't. See There's that. the half-time hooter, and Brisbane lead Newtown by 12 points to 11. Newtown is coming. So at F45 training Newtown, it's business as usual. Um, we're still here for your training needs. Um, today we've got a special guest, the one and only Johnny Trapp. Right, I tried you killing it, 
the Penny Farthing Challenge. This should be easy, this should be easy, mate. I'm oh, used to this. Let's go. Hashtag we are 8972. Hashtag keep the jets flying. Keep safe, blue bags. We can't wait to see you on the other side. Well, there it is, half time, and uh, Newtown scoring three tries to two in the first half, but trailing by 12 points to 11 for their commentaries on the uh, first half. Keith Barnes and Des Morris. Keith? Well, I thought I think it's been a great game up to date, and uh, it certainly came alive in that second quarter, didn't it? I was prepared to write uh, Brisbane off when they uh, when they trailed after Newtown ran in those two uh, great tries, and they were great tries by Podgy and Blythe, great team efforts. And uh, New uh, Brisbane have been getting themselves in a little bit of trouble on the blind side of the ruck, where uh, Davidson had been standing particularly deep. Newtown had spotted that, and uh, with Wilson switching the play pretty deftly, uh, they were giving Ferguson plenty of opportunities to attack down this left-hand flank. But then, of course, we did see Brisbane come back uh, extremely well and put two of their own trays on the board through close and then that up and under bomb from uh, Lewis. And it's brought them into a situation now where they go in at halftime uh, 12 points to 11 and a position that Arthur Beetson would obviously be very happy with. But I think they've got to control the ball a lot better than what they are controlling it because they're, uh, they're losing possession too easily and allowing Newtown to, uh, to dictate play uh, in an attacking situation. And this is something that uh, Beetson obviously will be very conscious of. I don't think they're bringing uh, Meninga and Close into the game as much as possible. And also, uh, Kilroy, the fullback, hasn't chimed in as much as he did in the opening couple of minutes. How did you see it, Des? Yeah, it's much the same, Keith, but uh, I think the forwards are now starting to, to run with a bit of purpose, and uh, that's giving the, the outside backs a, a bit, and Wally Lewis a, a chance to do something, and Oliphant giving him a chance to use his long passes. Also, Beetson starting to get more involved in the game and getting his hands free on a couple of occasions and uh, not dropping as much ball. Keith, the Interstate Series coming up fairly soon. Uh, what's happening down south? Well, there's a few uh, interesting uh, suggestions for the New South Wales side because there's a few of the key players that have lost form and also uh, players like Graham Eady that's under a fitness cloud. Uh, Mick Cronin, of course, in the centre and uh, and Steve Rogers that's playing lock forward now for uh, Quinella. So there's uh, the situation as far as the New South Wales side is very interesting. How's uh, Queensland shaping up up here, Des? Well, not too bad, Keith. Uh... I think uh, with Beetson back happy, obviously he'll be the first man picked in the front row. But uh, Lewis is going well. Norman Carr is uh, just starting to regain his form. Uh, the two centres are going particularly well. But uh, the half and five eight spot, I think, at this stage is still a bit open. With right. uh, Oliphant virtually being picked from reserve grade to play this game. And uh, a few smart young halfbacks around the town have got a bit of pace. You know, it's just a matter of what they're going to go for. What players from the Queensland country are going to be pressing for selection? Obviously, uh, the Queensland side is not going to be made up wholly and solely from the players out there this evening. Fairly hard to say, uh, Keith, because at this stage, uh, I personally haven't seen any of the Queensland country players, and I don't think Des has either. We don't actually get to see them until the country team comes down here. And as you say, obviously, there's going to be people from that, uh, players from that team. And uh, it augurs for a fairly good uh, Queensland team. I think we'll give them uh, a bit of curry. Well, you always say that. The players that have impressed me in the uh, Brisbane side tonight are these back row forwards, the three of them, uh, Niebling and Phelan, uh, but going particularly well. Lewis is a player that's got a tremendous reputation up here, and uh, each time we've seen him in a televised game, he probably hasn't quite lived up to that reputation. Right. He's the kind of player, and I'm sure Des will agree with me, he can do something at a stage that will win a game. That's right, right. That's right. He's George one of those so. players. Yeah, he's a very natural footballer, and he, uh, you know, he thinks uh, a hell of a lot. And uh, his kicks, and uh, he just seems to be able to pull that something extra out when it's when it's needed. 
Well, obviously, what, you, what you're saying is that the uh, the main, uh, the forward pack is going to be pretty close to that one that's out there tonight. It would and seem that way, Keith. But would we don't probably know be a front row spot. Probably. And the halfback, uh, the two halfbacks out there, well, obviously, they're going to come under pressure. Well, I think Des would agree with me here again. The halfback combination tonight, Stephen, uh, Steve Cherry and Greg Oliphant, are on trial. Well, and sure. what about Kilroy at fullback? He's on trial as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, he looked good early in the game. Uh, yeah. Of course, his defensive lapses there that uh, allowed Newtown two trays would certainly go against him. Right. Okay, well, we'll see what the composition of the Queensland and New South Wales team is later on in the year. At present, this game, very, very exciting with 12 points to 11, favouring Brisbane. Kickoff has been taken by Newtown. And the Brisbane with the ball, just inside their own quarter. Half time, Brisbane leading Newtown by 12 points to 11. If you've just joined us, but Newtown scoring three tries to two. Mal Manier kicking three from three, and uh, Ken Wilson having some difficult attempts to convert the Newtown tries from the sideline. Only successful with one from four, and uh, that's the difference. Beats and put down. Oliphant coming up with the ball for Brisbane. Dowling. Lewis, a grabber kick, should run to the line, it does, right on halfway. Wally Lewis. Yes, it's interesting you should make that point about uh, Wally Lewis, um, Keith, because you'd only see him on the televised matches. It's a bit like when we in Queensland up here used to hear about the great Reg Gasnia. We only saw him play two or three times, you know? Yeah, well, actually, I, I did see uh, Lewis in the Brisbane final last year, and he did uh, a couple of brilliant things. That was the day that he got a bad one around the neck, remember? That's right. And uh, he certainly showed uh, what football ability he has, but he hasn't really produced it in big, big matches, and I'm talking about uh, probably basically interstate games. Right. And I think you'd have to agree that you did see plenty of top football from Gazia. My word, I did. <laughs> <laughs> You would have seen more. <laughs> Steve Bowden, who's worked very hard for Newtown in the front row. Newtown in a scoring position very early in this third quarter, down in Brisbane's quarter. Sigsworth. Haven't seen Sigsworth set him alight at all, and apparently he is one blood that can set him alight. Yes, kid. he's been well controlled there, though. Ackery, the young front rower. Paul Ackery. Ten metres out. Jensen this time. Wilson, Sigsworth, dancing his way through, but couldn't get the final pass away to Hetherington. Um, Hetherington was probably a bit of a yard away, wasn't he? The kick had to be. Penalty going to Newtown. Sigsworth up very quickly to play the ball on. And, of course, Wilson will kick for goal and try and regain the lead. In the meantime, Wally Lewis receiving a little bit of attention and behind the dead ball line from the Brisbane Masseur. Surprising the number of times players get caught in situations like that, Des, isn't it? You know, just that's that Hoffman reflex sorry. action. That's right. Happens all the time. Hoffman receiving attention, not Lewis. Wilson with a fairly simple shot. As I said before, he's had three very difficult kicks to try and convert the try scored by Newtown. Has kicked one penalty and has a chance early in this third quarter to regain the lead for the Newtown Jets. Left foots it. That's up and over. Newtown regain the lead in this third quarter by 13 points to 12. Meninga, deep to Pudgy, the fullback. Michael Pudgy scored a great try in the second quarter. Put it out in the quarter way and uh, loses a boot at the same time. Jensen. Pittman on the quarter way. Jensen again. Wilson, relieving kick. Long left foot, torpedo punt, Kilroy back for it. Joe Kilroy, the Brisbane fullback, from that exact position last year. Oh, Davidson's not having a happy night, Des. No, we won't be too happy about uh, 
things that have happened out there tonight, but uh, he is a good winger blind. I'm sure that uh, he'll settle down shortly and uh, get into the game. Well, that was a particularly bad mistake, wasn't it? Because they're uh, desperate to get possession. Well, thankfully, they've uh, got it from the scrum. Yes, the number of times I've lost it just since the, the half-time break is, uh, mm. is far too many. Stephen Cherry, the 5'8". Yeah. He lost the ball. Newtown ball. Jensen. 12 metres inside. Brisbane Territory. Davidson getting in the ruck there and doing a bit of tackling, saying, I better do something. There he is again, assisting in the tackle. Actually, uh, Lewis is out playing on the wing at the moment. Maybe Arthur Beats and Tony come in and get a feel of the ball for a while. Oh, a good pass. Newtown on the rampage again. Stephen Blythe. Pittman again causing plenty of trouble to uh, the Brisbane defence. He made that half a break then to put Blythe through. Ryan, a long one. Blacklock. Hetherington back inside, but... Uh, couldn't be accepted, and the ball goes into touch. These two wingers certainly keep the ball alive when they get it. <laughs> penalty from the scrum. Going to Newtown, a differential penalty once again. I don't think uh, Greg Oliphant was too happy about that one, Des. No, I don't think so. Wilson looking for extra meterage. And a chance for Newtown once again. They're leading by 13 points to 12. Seven minutes of play gone third quarter. Steve Bowden. And uh, he's played very well in the front row for Newtown thus far into the game. Jensen. Sigsworth. Dancing this time. Can he dance his way through? Cannot. Pull down. Five meters out. Jensen to distribute. Decides to have a run himself. Pull down, centre field, right under the post. Three metres from scoring Newtown. Leading by 13, 12, Sigsworth. This time! Uh, yes, Sigsworth in for Newtown. And the dancing feet of Phil Sigsworth brings up their fourth try. And that's 16 points to 12. Yes, well, that was an easy try, wasn't it? Uh, where he was able to step inside there. And with Lewis coming at him as well, he was able to just get away and just uh, lever the ball over the line. It was one that uh, Arthur Beaton wouldn't be too happy with this. No, well, they, had, they took it three rucks in a row from the dummy half and it finally scored. It should never happen, really. But uh, there'll be a few words said out there at the moment, I'd say, to uh, get the boys' mind back on the job. Well, yeah, it is here where Sigsworth went from the dummy half, stepped back inside Oliphant and also uh, Lewis. As he went down, he was able to just reach out and uh, place the ball right under the stick. So it's uh, just a formality for Wilson now to edge them to an 18 points to 12 lead after only uh, what eight minutes in this third quarter correct and of course as we've grown to f find in the uh, tooth cup keith the third quarter is the most important one yes isn't it? we keep saying it and uh, on this uh, tonight's game uh, it could have been the second quarter but yes uh, newtown took a strangle hold and then um, uh, brisbane really came back into the game with two good tries but now they're up against it again there it is an extra two points wilson making no mistake about that one Newtown leading Brisbane by 18 points to 12 with about uh, nine minutes of play remaining in this third quarter. Following this telecast tonight, we are able to bring you um, a third round match in the Commonwealth Bank Cup between uh, two Brisbane high schools, Banyo High and McGregor High from right here in Brisbane. And I can assure you it was a very interesting game. Jensen a dummy half. Ackery. Paul Ackery just outside the quarter. Jensen. Wilson shapes the kick. Wilson. Uh, Kilroy's got it covered this time. Tries to run away from Blacklock. Assisted by the two front rowers, Bowden and Ackery. Down he goes. Kilroy plays it forward. Runs into Ackery once again. 20 metres inside Newtown Territory. Brisbane needing a try, beats him. Out it goes, Cherry drops the ball, Cherry. Not having a happy night, Des Morris. No, it's, um, they just don't seem organised enough at the moment. Brisbane, they're waiting for someone else to do the work all the time. And uh, when it does come out, they're dropping fundamental uh, straight passes. No, there's no excuse, really. 
Graham O'Grady gets the pass inside to Jensen. Jensen backing up as a good hooker should. They're missing that first tackle too, no, Des. That's right, yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're just not applying themselves, I think. They're uh, letting it get to them. Sigsworth, quick passing. Ryan to Hetherington once again in a touchline. Inside. Good football, Newtown. Yeah, that's good oh, good football. And it's uh, Pittman. And who were it? Was one player deserved to score a try in this game. Mick Pittman, who's worked tirelessly in the second row, goes over to finish off a good Newtown try. 21 points to 12. Five tries. But gee, this John Ferguson impresses me. He's uh, been put into the clear here with a very good pass. Uh, from Blacklock, who's got over there again, and Ryan. Hetherington down the flank. Uh, no, Hetherington it was that turns the ball back in field to Ryan, and Pittman, of course, uh, positioned himself back on the inside again. They're certainly putting their game together, Des. Yes, they're playing like a, a very well uh, oil machine, and uh, they're certainly playing with plenty of confidence. And uh, it's no wonder they beat Manly at the weekend, apparently. Maybe they're helped by some uh, very ordinary defence. Yeah, well, both the last tries have uh, started with a mistake by Brisbane and dropping the ball in their own court and own half, and. Uh, you know, for uh, rep football, it's just not good enough. He is determined to get there, Keith. There's no two ways about yes, that. Yes, there wasn't much risk about it. But as you said, a well-deserved try because uh, he's been very prominent in attack and uh, I'd say he would be one of Newtown's top defensive players as well. Wilson with a difficult attempt at conversion and uh, a very important kick because this 21-12, uh, nine points, if they can get this extra two points, that puts them further than two converted tries away from the Brisbane side so uh, an important kick for Wilson from the touchline to try and convert the try scored by Pittman and it could sneak over it does good kick and an important one Newtown 23 Brisbane 12 with about uh, nine minutes of play remaining in this the third quarter in this week's issue of the Big League, uh, the featured article is on Rod Morris's determination to make the Australian team against France this year. And uh, Rod Le has left his run slightly late, some think, but uh, if we know MT as well as we know him, he will be doing his darndest to get in that Australian side to play against France. So get your issue of Big League this week to read Rod Morris's article. And also a launch of the great new crossword series all in the Big League at your news agents. And of course, it's out tomorrow, the gospel for all rugby league players and supporters. Good kick, Ken Wilson, but it just won't bounce end on end for him. Kilroy back for it. Across Pittman, he chases him. Kilroy still going across field. And uh, finally, uh, can they put him down? A little bit difficult, but they finally did it. Hetherington and uh, Ryan combining. Meninga, who's been very quiet, Des Morris. Yes, he hasn't had many opportunities, and uh, although his form hasn't been all that good in the last couple of weeks, I'm sure that uh, he's looking for a big one tonight. It's just, just not being able to get into the game enough. I think the ball's not getting out to him, and uh, uh, for Brisbane to win tonight, we need a big game from Mel Meninga. Newtown with their tails in the air. I think they've got a big job now, Des. I can't see Newtown letting them back into the game the way they did in that second quarter. Oh, Arthur beats him to Brad Backer. Yes, I agree with you, Keith. It's uh, yeah. certainly a, a very uh, confident Newtown side that's out there now. Well, five tries to two, Keith. With tally at this stage. Yes, well, it was... Uh, it was three tries to nil there at one stage in the first, in the second quarter, wasn't it? And we did see uh, Brisbane come back, but uh, I think they probably caught Newtown a little bit by surprise, and maybe they relaxed a little bit, thinking that they had their game well in control. And now that they've edged the way to another 11-point uh, advantage, it's I'd be very surprised, and I'm sure they cage Warren Ryan would be disgusted if uh, if they do allow Brisbane back into the game. And with, Newtown, with Brisbane making a lot of handling errors, of course, this is allowing Newtown to uh, dominate possession. They're getting a reasonable share from the scrum. Kenny Wilson is going to be kicking a fair amount, and, uh, of course, there's a little bit of breeze helping him. And consequently, they're going to be playing a lot down in Brisbane's territory. Good defence there from Newtown. Uh, Beaton coming away with the ball, but uh, some strong defence from Newtown. Oliphant, Cherry. Flicks it inside. Meninga tries to break a couple can't get his hands free, loses the ball, and a scrum to pack. 
This is the problem. Uh, you seem to be using that phrase quite a bit tonight, George. Brisbane losing the ball, oh, don't you? Yes. And that's uh, probably indicative of their game. New Town are obviously forcing a lot of those errors too with some very good defence. They're getting up very quickly in the back line. Sigsworth in particular. Mm -hmm. New Town ball from the scrum. Wilson had his back line very flat, had no option but to run the ball himself on that occasion, Wilson. Behind, picked up by Sigsworth. Smothered is the word by Arthur Beaton. <laughs> Looking at Artie out there tonight, you could have probably say crushed. Suffocated. <laughs> yes, the white jumper doesn't do much for his physique, I don't think. Sigsworth, a long floating pass, but uh, uh, just a little bit in front. <laughs> a little bit in front of Ferguson. I've heard of wingers having raving commissions, but Blacklock seems to be everywhere, doesn't he? Yeah, that's right. He's uh, covering a lot of ground. Scrum about 12 metres inside Newtown Territory, but the penalty from the scrum going to Brisbane, not packing square onto the opposition's goal line. And an extra 10 metres for a little bit of back chat from somebody. So now, of course, that nullifies the the differential penalty, but it's unlike that Meninga will kick for goal, even though he can if he wants to. Uh, I'm wrong. Arthur Beeson's told him to kick for goal now. Des? Yes, it's... Uh, Arthur might think that if we just get two points on the board, it might just lift the confidence a bit and... Uh, from well, the kick-off, take the ball up and get it back into their half, but... Uh, yeah, they have to score three times, of course. They're um, 11 points behind, aren't they? Yeah, no, they're not playing uh, like a side that's going to score a try straight away anyway, so uh, it might be best to take the two while they're there. It's a good shot of Artie on camera at the moment. It's up to Meninga now to, um, to land the two points because, as you said, uh, it leads them to within nine points of, uh, of Newtown, and who knows, another couple of penalties again, and then uh, you find yourself within five points. So. That's right. Uh, it's probably a good idea to take the points while they're on offing. Kick three from three, but I think that one's going wide. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Straight through, and a good pressure kick from Mal Maninka. 23-14. Nine points the difference, with about three minutes of play remaining in the third quarter. Very powerful kicker too, isn't he? It was a very casual, easy kick. Yeah, very natural. Just correct me if I'm wrong. It looked like he went up the side of his boot from here. Oh, well, the touch judges didn't move, and uh, Meninga looked indication. pretty confident. That's always a good indication. 23 points to 14. Newtown leading Brisbane in this Tooth Cup match. Lang Park here in Brisbane. Bly Davidson. If there's one man on the field who would like to score a try, I'm sure it's Bly Davidson. <laughs> she, he was a little bit lucky there, too, because he had the ball taken off him then in the tackle. Takes play four metres inside Newtown Territory. About minutes of play left in this third quarter. And Newtown leading by 23.14. Scored five tries. To Greg Dowling coming on to replace Trevor Deacon at the start of the second quarter. Chris Phelan. Phelan plays it forward, looks for Beetson, finds him. Beetson on the quarter way, can Brisbane score before the three-quarter time? Nuda goes, out. out it goes, Lewis back inside, out the on the back line this time. No, it's held in there. Brisbane just inside the quarter way on the final tackle. Lewis puts a little chip kick in, says chase it, Brad Backer. Meninga's got it, inside the backer, he's lost it. Brisbane still keeping it alive. Chris close, close, swarmed upon by the Jets and pulled down about five metres out. Scrum to pack. Town leading 23-14.
three-quarter time hooter about a minute away. Yes, and that's probably indicative of the football ability of Lewis. He put that uh, little grubber kick through and uh, probably a little unfortunate that Meninga wasn't really steaming onto it there. He had to hesitate just that fraction to get the bounce. Lost his momentum and was taken in the tackle by Newton, but a clever Ball kick. Ball scrum. And uh, Oliphant scrambling for it. And incurs the wrath of referee Ward. Stay behind your pack, says Red Idiot. Wood. And that relieves the pressure. Wilson taking his time. Tap free to be taken about uh, 23 metres from the halfway line. Barry Jensen. Kick and run, waiting for the hooter to sound. There it is. Referee Eddie Ward blows three-quarter time with Newtown leading by 23 points to 14. In tonight's Man of the Match Award, one of these players on the field will win this great prize from National Panasonic and Electronic Sales and Rental. Newtown is coming. Twenty-three fourteen in favour of Newtown. A uh, nine-point advantage, Keith. That going to be enough? Yes, I think so. I can't see Brisbane getting back into the game now. Certainly, they came uh, good with two tries late in that second quarter. But I think uh, uh, Ryan will be emphasising the importance now of uh, of playing the game in Brisbane's territory. And I think the vote of uh, Kenny Wilson will do that. I've been a little bit disappointed uh, in Brisbane to the extent that they haven't used the kick enough. Uh, I think most of their attacking play is going to come from closer Meninga, and those two have basically been blotted out of the game by Mick Ryan and Hetherington. I'm probably a little disappointing that Oliphant hasn't used the chip over the top because uh, Phil Sigsworth has been taking the, uh, the Newtown backs up particularly well, and they've been moving up, giving the outside backs of Brisbane very little opportunity. Uh, Brisbane have probably been their own worst enemy by uh, failing to capitalise on uh, a 5-3 scrum advantage. They haven't controlled the ball anywhere near enough to uh, to be able to put pressure on uh, Newtown. I think this is where their problem has lied. Right. We have seen some great football from Newtown. You can't take anything away oh, from yes. them. They've scored five tries to two, and that's probably indicative of the... Uh, of the uh, comparison of the two teams at this stage. It's been a very, very entertaining game, but Newtown particularly impressive, coming onto the ball well, standing uh, very, very deep in attack. Their forwards are working well. Pittman uh, was rewarded with a fine try because he's been one of their better workers. Wilson has been dictating the play around the rucks, and all in all, a very satisfying performance from the Newtown boys. Couldn't agree more, Keith, and uh, I'd say stick around for the final quarter because at 23-14, uh, I'm sure the Brisbane boys won't take that laying down. A final quarter full of top Tooth Cup football after this commercial break. Fourth quarter of this Tooth Cup game for Glen Clark between Newtown and Brisbane. Newtown leading by 23 points to 14. And a very important change at three quarter time, Des Morris. Yes, well, it looks like Wally Lewis has gone to 5-8 and uh, Norm Carr has come on into the forwards. Uh, Wally's replaced Steve's cherry. So, uh, with his attacking, Fleury might be able to do something and uh, get this back line going that we're uh, so very proud of up here. And uh, we'll be up to Wally now and just see how far we can go. Beats him with the ball. Makes a crashing run, gets it back. Brisbane will have to score points very early in this, in this uh, last quarter, Keith, to be a chance. Yes, they certainly will, and they have to control the ball. I think Beaton has been using himself as a decoy for, uh, for long periods in the game, and uh, you'll certainly see him come into it now in this final quarter. And maybe the moving of Lewis out to 5-8, as uh, Des said, could uh, see the best come from Meninga and close. Wally Lewis with the ball now. Puts it all on the ground, close, and Meninga after it. Podgy's there, feels it safely for, for Newtown. Sections of the crowd thinking it may have been a knock-on, but it never left his hands. Ackery, Paul Ackery, the young front rower for Newtown. Barry Jensen. Jensen 12 metres from the halfway line. Newtown leading by 23 points to 14. 
the game coming to you from Lang Park in Brisbane. Bowden, Wilson, employing the kick once again. Kilroy chasing it. He'll have to chase in a hurry, and he gets there in time. Kilroy inside his own quarter. What can Jumpin' Joe do from here? Not very much. Put down just outside his own quarter. Elephant, Bly Davidson. Davidson, four metres outside the quarter. Elephant. Beatson, over the top, a long one. Speculative pass, Backer. Backer, held. Not giving Backer any room to move at all was Ray Blacklock. Arthur Beatson, charging up the middle of the ruck. But Newtown there to stop the big fellow. Elephant. Dummies to Lewis, tries to get past Bowden. Bowden comes down low and puts him down. Last tackle coming up. Lewis kicks long and low. Podgy across to cover it. Michael Podgy, the new, new town fullback. Lewis hangs on to his jumper. Good work, Wally Lewis, to follow his kick through. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, uh, Lewis should have been uh, looking for the line and uh, forsaking that little extra yardage. It's very important now that when they do kick, uh, if they're not kicking for an attacking situation, uh, I mean the little chip over the top with players coming onto it. Well, when he's kicking across, he's got to find that line to give them the opportunity to get in possession back. Cole Murphy on, replacing uh, Steve Blythe. Keith, Murphy on for the Newtown team. Yes, and Blythe has uh, had a strong game. Played particularly well last week against Manly too, and uh, he's carried that form into tonight's game. I haven't seen Murphy, so I don't know how he'd shape up. Podgy. Bowden with the ball. <coughs> Pardon me. Newtown, 20 metres from the halfway line. Jensen. Pittman there, as usual. Jensen. Wilson shoots at blindside. Graham O'Grady. O'Grady pulled down 12 metres from the halfway. That was the final tackle. And a scrum to pack. Norm Carr packing in at lock forward. Wally Lewis playing at 5'8 for Brisbane in this final quarter. Steve Cherry being replaced at three-quarter time. 15 minutes of play remaining. Newtown leading by 23 points to 14. Sigsworth. Six metres from the halfway line. Sigsworth playing it back to Jensen. Jensen dummies one. Wilson. Another good kick. Davidson chasing it back. It's rolling end on end. And Davidson can't retrieve the ball. And Wilson once again takes play from... 10 metres inside his own territory to about 10 metres inside the Brisbane quarter. Yes, well, he's had a fine game again tonight, Wilson, with his tactical kicking, also his goal kicking. He's had a lot of difficult kicks, but he's been around the posts all the time. But the way he's controlled the game around the rucks for Newtown when in possession has been very important to their attacking plan. Uh, Brisbane win the ball when they have to. Oliphant with the ball. Bly Davidson. Des, there doesn't seem to be too much um, going on with as far as attacking patterns out there. No, I think they've... Uh, they seem to be going one out a lot and just trying to back up Artie, but uh, you, know, you can't leave it to one man to do it all. But the, the forwards seem to be a bit sluggish at the moment. They're, just, they're very slow to get out of that last scrum. Norm Carr shoots it to Davidson, but Davidson swarmed upon immediately. Beatson. Gets it back. Brisbane about 15 metres from the halfway line. Trailing by 23 points to 14. Oliphant knocks the ball on. He retrieves it. And uh, another scrum to pack. There's probably no real great disadvantage on that occasion because at least it gives them the opportunity you now of getting it back from the scrum, which they've done. Oh, 
Dowling running it out. Time running out though, only 12 minutes left. They've got to put a point on the board very quickly, Des. Chris yes. Close. The backs just don't seem to be getting the ball at the, at the right time, and uh, the forwards, whether they're taking it once too often or not, not once enough, but... Uh, you know, I give a lot of credit to the Newtown defence here. Meninga decides to bust him up, and that he does. Chris Close this time. Will he run from dummy half? Loves to do it. Charging ahead. Looks for Meninga. Gives it to him. Meninga looking for support. Nobody home. Backer on the bounce. He's lost it. Well, Close and Meninga doing the forwards work, busting up field. Uh, Backer, not a good pass to Backer, but uh, a chance gone begging Des. Yes, Brad was probably a bit slow to get there and uh, probably hasn't had that many opportunities tonight to back anybody up and uh, might have been left a little bit standing. But Lewis, can Lewis score? Determination written all over his face. Brisbane needing a try. Down 23-14. About 11 minutes of play remaining in the game. Oliphant this time. Chris Close, a quick pass. Failing out there. Gets it back. Meninga fires it away to Kilroy. It's over his head. Kilroy picks it up. Play on, says Eddie Ward. Kilroy. Back to Meninga again. Brisbane trying everything to bust this Newtown defence. Over the top. Davidson, six to go. Inside comes Davidson. Touched by Newtown. Six to go. Brisbane eager for points and needing them desperately. Inside to Beaton. Crashing up the middle. The crowd drum coming alive now. Oliphant. Back inside. Dowling. Back it goes. A try. That's the one Brisbane needed. Certainly was the one they needed. Came right in the right spot too. And good pass here from Darling to Carr, wasn't it? Darling was the one. He received a good pass from um, Greg Oliphant. He made the break, picked up Carr, and uh, perfectly positioned right underneath the sticks. That was the one they wanted. And what a great ten minutes we've got. <laughs> certainly put Brisbane on the fighting chance now, and uh, I think you'll see plenty of heart out there for the last ten minutes. Norm Carr right beside the post. That all started, Keith, with a bit of great work from Meninga and Close. Really brought him a light, didn't it? Yes, it did. And, of course, Lewis attacked two from the scrum base, which I think threw a bit of panic into the Newtown defence. And then uh, uh, Brisbane certainly threw caution to the wind. They were throwing the ball, uh, long looping passes, and uh, on a couple of occasions, Newtown players touched it, which uh, gave them a little bit more continuity in their game. Uh, retaining possession, I mean, and uh, they certainly capitalised on it and came up with a try that they desperately needed. And uh, it's going to be a great 10 minutes now. 23 to 19, and maybe we hark back to that decision of Arthur Beetson's when he gave Meninga the opportunity to edge them to within nine points. And, of course, there's a big difference now, four points behind and six points behind. That's right. Four points the difference. The game's still in the balance. Meninga has kicked five out of five. The try situation. Uh, Newtown have scored five tries to three and lead by 23 points to 19. Exactly 10 minutes of play remaining in the final quarter. Bly Davidson. What do you think, Des? Yes, well, George, it's, it's going to be on for the last 10 minutes, that's for sure. And uh, there's plenty of players in the Brisbane side with the ability to pull the game out of the fire. And uh, we'll just see how they go now. Well, this is a second occasion now where they've virtually been given a second chance, isn't it? They were out of the game and uh, they scored two great tries in that second quarter. They were, as far as I was concerned, anyhow, they were out of the game at three-quarter time. They've come up with a try they desperately needed after ten minutes and now they're in with a big chance. They certainly, they've got their spirits riding high. Beatson losing the ball and another scrum to pack. Brisbane ball again. Norm Carr standing off the scrum. Car relishing this kind of position. Oliphant never knows when to say die. Brian Niebling on halfway. Oliphant organising things. Chris Phelan, 11 metres inside Newtown Territory. Hoffman a dummy half. Oliphant cuts out, goes to Kilroy. Kilroy, pull down. Last tackle coming up for Brisbane in this set of six. Oliphant, chip over the top, covered, nicely covered. Well done, Newtown. 
Ferguson on that far wing had a good game, Keith. He's had a top game. Sigsworth. He can change the course of the I game thought, just like that. Yes, he can. I thought Brisbane could have controlled, uh, taken the sixth tackle there, Des, and uh, maybe gone for the scrum because they're getting good possession in this final quarter. That's right. No, uh, they're in an attacking position, and uh, I don't think Ollie has got the pace now to follow to up follow his own kick. Chip, no. And uh, you know, I think Brisbane were actually on top in the attacking department for those uh, the last five or six minutes, and uh, if we had a hold on to the ball, well, instead of we'd be probably up there on their goal line instead of down their own. Davidson tries to beat Hetherington, can't do so. Hetherington's had a good game tonight too in uh, both an attack and defence. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Men over to Byrne. Oh no, he, oh, let he it go. didn't pass it. Well, he's got the fastest winger, you know, Backer with plenty of pace, and uh, they had the opportunity to a couple of quick passes, and Backer would have had uh, a clear run for about 40 metres before he came to Podgy. Chris Close, nine metres from halfway. The game's still very much alive. Newtown leading by 23 points to 19, with about seven minutes of play remaining in this Tooth Cup game from Lang Park tonight. Newtown 23, Brisbane 19, Brisbane with the ball. Quick pass, Lewis out there, back inside. Brisbane on the rampage, Dowling pull down about 12 metres inside the Newtown Territory. Last tackle coming up, Oliphant with the ball. Oliphant, dummies, pull down, takes the tackle, scrum to pack. Dowell has uh, vindicated his um, position in the side, hasn't he? He's had a strong game, Des. He's, uh, he's certainly, since he's been on the field, he's been doing a lot of work in defence and taking the ball up, but... In this last quarter, he's certainly been using himself as a runner and unloading the ball to his supports, and uh, it's starting to look very good. And that was a scrum that Newtown badly needed. Newtown, nine metres inside their own territory. Oh, that was a top tackle. <laughs> that was a top tackle, wasn't oh, it? Boy. Wilson relieving kick. Will it run to touch? I think it will. Yes. Great kick once again from Ken Wilson. Putting play once again from inside his own territory to 10 metres from the Brisbane line, Des. Yes, well, he certainly, uh, all the reports that we heard about him has certainly come true tonight. He has kept Newtown... Well and truly on top of the game with his kicking and his uh, switch of play. And, uh... oh, I th oh, I thought for one moment that uh, Ferguson got the ball. Great bit of work from, uh, that's worth seeing on replay if we can get it. Watch, watch uh, Wilson here, uh, Keith, look. Yes, he's picked up and... Gets uh... it away! And it's dropped he's as he gets just over. Actually, Oliver knocked it out of his hand. Time ticking away for the Brisbane side, down by 23 points to 19. Meninga, Meninga, scrambling along, puts it back. Neebling with nowhere to go. Oliphant, Lewis, can Wally Lewis do it? Lewis away he goes, in a close, close, pull down. Graham O'Grady there in good cover defence. Brisbane on the attack once again, strong run from Chris Phelan. Out it goes to Brian Niebling, Niebling pull down on the last tackle coming up. Newtown leading by 23 points to 19. Brisbane in here converted, try to win it, Beetson. Knock on indicated. And uh, a scrum to pack. Knock on both ways. Mick Pittman not happy with the decision. He thought it was his ball with six to go. Four minutes of play remaining. Newtown 23, Brisbane 19. Scrum to pack just outside the Newtown quarter. Penalty going to Brisbane. It's a differential penalty. They can't kick for goal. Cannot kick for goal. Yeah. 
Last chance for Brisbane, I'd say, Des. Three minutes of play remaining. Down by four points. Yes, well, it made all the magic of... Oh, and they've no lost good. the ball! Bad luck for Niebling there, because he's had a strong game. They've taken in the high tackle, and uh, unfortunately spilt the ball when uh, Brisbane desperately needed it. That could be... The moment they last uh, attacking opportunity, because... There's not much risk that uh, Wilson will be clearing the line here. Yes, I'd say there'd be a few uh, cramps and whatnot come into the last couple of minutes and waste a bit of time. Yeah, well, time off, of course. It, um, I think they'll control the ball and uh, you'll find that Wilson will be putting it downfield, giving uh, Brisbane the, the task of bringing it back if they're going to, uh, to score the try that they're so desperately seeking. And uh, to their credit, they've played uh, really well. I think this is probably the... Uh, uh, the most sustained attacking or football that we've seen from Brisbane in this final quarter. They've uh, really lifted their game and there seems to be a lot more effort being given by uh, all the players in this final uh, 20 minutes. Following our full-time whistle tonight, we'll have our next draw in the Tooth Cup ticker box competition. Remember, you can enter as often as you like because every week the draw only contains fresh entries received from the last seven days. The Tooth Cup ticker box competition and also stay with us for a great Commonwealth Bank Cup game between McGregor High and Banyo High. It's a great game that one. Wilson a clearing kick once again. Mm. Hey, can Joe Kilroy. Can Kilroy pull it out of the fire? Ackery pulls him down. Precious time ticking away. About two minutes of play remaining. Arthur Beetson. Beetson about 12 metres inside Newtown, Georgie. Oliphant, out it goes. Lewis, a long one to close. Close has backer with him. Tries to push off uh, Ferguson, uh, Claiborne. He does. Inside it goes. Picked up by Meninga. Meninga, almost to the quarter way. The Jets coming from everywhere to put Meninga down. And losing the ball in the tackle, says Eddie Ward. Meninga not happy with that one either. No, and you've got a bit fortunate the penalty didn't go against them there. Very important scrum, this one. And Wilson to feed. Can the Jets hang on? Can the Jets hang on? Or can Brisbane put it out in the last moment? Four points behind. 23-19. It's the Jets' ball. Newtown, 23. Brisbane, 19. Replacement player, Cole Murphy. Jensen. Murphy once again, Sigsworth, held on to, Graham O'Grady, Wilson shapes the kick, almost makes the break, gets a good pass back, away goes Blacklock, looks inside and falls over. Sigsworth there screaming for the ball he was. and could have been trouble had Sigsworth got hold of it. I don't think Newtown are in all that much trouble to be honest. About a minute left and the last scrum of the match to pack and nothing short of a miracle or some great football can win this one for Brisbane, Keith. No, I wouldn't think so. Well, it was probably a uh, good play by Blacklock there. They've got the chance. To... Lewis. Close. Pull down. Almost to halfway. Seconds remaining. Mal Meninga. Having a run himself. Can't break away. Trying very desperately too. That's determination for He's you. He's strong, isn't he? Oliphant. Plenty of men over. Can they score? Quick pass. Out to Kilroy. Has Backer with him. Now to Backer. Backer. Tries to come inside. Stays in the field of play. Swarmed upon by the Jets once again. Just outside the quarterway. The full-time hooter must be just about to ring. On the quarterway. Oliphant. Beetson charging up the middle. Back it goes on the quarterway this time. Newtown leading by 23 points to 19. Lost the ball. Scrum to pack. This it's, is definitely the last scrum of the match. This one. certainly thrown plenty into this last There's the hooter. Minutes, Eddie Ward says, uh, no, we'll have to scrum. have the scrum. Get back off the sideline, you kids. It's a Newtown ball. That's the end of the ball game. Free ball kick. Time. Now he went down with oh, a free tackle. kick. Well, it's got to be a tackle. kick. Now here's trouble. Be a Get rid of the kids. Get rid of the Lane Park kids. 
you're right, Keith, a voluntary tackle. Yes, it was. He went down without being tackled. Well, this will be an upset if they can uh, kick for line. Kick for line. A bomb's the only thing. 23-19. Wally Lewis takes the tap. Get back your 10 metres. Up it goes. It's good position. All the Brisbane players there. Wait for it. Oh, don't tell me. No try. No try. Newtown win this tooth cup game. 23 points to 19. Back in a moment to wrap this game up for you. Here it is uh, on replay before we go. Up it goes. Somebody jumps for it. Who is it, Keith? Knock forward. A good decision, Eddie Ward. Meninga pushes it forward. A Brisbane player drops on it. And no try resultant. Here it is again. It's Kilroy who knocks it forward. Kilroy knocks it forward. And, uh, oh, golly. Good refereeing <laughs> from Eddie Ward. A uh, real hard stop of this one. Back in a moment to wrap the whole game up for you. Although Sydney Mutual Bank was launched as a new brand last year, we have been helping the people of Sydney and beyond with their finances since the early 1960s. For over five decades, we operated as a credit union offering the same service as a bank does. In 2019, we swapped from a credit union to a bank and changed our name from Sydney Credit Union to Sydney Mutual Bank. At Sydney Mutual Bank, you're not just a member, you're an owner. This means that 100% of profits benefit customers, both financially and socially. We have been supporting the Marrickville community since 1982 and we are proud sponsors of Newtown Jets since 2012, attending home games with our best seats on the Hill competition and Sid the Pig. Our products and services are designed to assist in the financial education and growth of the youth and young adult sector, as well as facilitating community initiatives in the local areas surrounding our branches. We offer a competitive range of banking products from savings accounts, children's accounts through to competitive rate home loan products. Exclusive deals are available for Loyal Jets members and through the COVID-19 pandemic we are still operational through our vast branch network, call centre and online facilities. One of our branches is now located on the ground floor in Marrickville Metro if you wish to say hello. Hashtag we are 8972. Hashtag keep the jets flying. Keep safe, blue bags. We can't wait to see you on the other side. Utah!